Okay, so welcome to Prototype 73, the Minecraft series which I start off with a single tree on a single piece of dirt. And for the first time, it's coming back to Mighty Eagle 73. Gee, I haven't done Minecraft in a long time on this channel, have I? Oh wait, the last video I did before disappearing is Minecraft. Well, that turned out well. But anyways, uh, welcome to Prototype 73 and uh, this is episode 6, but um, episode 1 on Mighty Eagle 73. So uh, welcome to this brand new series for you guys. For you new guys, this is a series. Which I done on my second channel, Mighty underscore Eagle 073. And uh, basically, as I said, I start off with a single tree and uh, chopping down endless amounts of trees. We were able to create a little platform for ourselves, which then we could, you know, work on other stuff, such as, you know, creating tools, such as sieves and barrels and. That what helped us work our way up. And eventually, we created infinite cobblestone. And uh, as time goes on, we found a faster method of getting infinite cobblestone. And we created a mob farm as well. And eventually, we got infinite amounts of other minerals as well, such as iron, copper, gold, and diamond. The one you'll normally mine in vanilla Minecraft. But, you know, with the help of mods, we were able to get them. And eventually, we got power generation, which speeds up our mineral generation. And, you know, we keep doing small things, big things, medium thing to, to get to where we are which is this beautiful base right over here with which is pretty large considering we just started with a single tree so you know I say it's pretty good so um, I, I recommend you check out my videos that I've done that led up to all of this or it'll also be on this channel I'll just create a little playlist with, which you can you know view right over here you press the little eye button here so um, if you want to check out that amazing journey make sure you check out all my other five videos but otherwise uh, let's get into the video so uh, a quick recap of the last episode, uh, since it's been a month, and also because, you know, that's my ritual now for all Prototype 73 videos. We created a little platform out on the side of our base. We then placed down lava as well as 21 crucibles onto that platform. We then hooked up the 21 crucibles with a tier 3 cobblestone generator, and now we have infinite lava. We then hooked up the 21 crucibles with the magmatic generator, which generates RF, and now we have infinite energy. We then hooked the alloy smelter with the magmatic generator, which exploded the magmatic generator, which means I had to create another one, and also a middleman, which took years and years of sieving. And then we finally finished our alloy smelter, hooked it up with the middleman and so that now it gets energy. And then we use the alloy smelter to create conductive iron, which we use to craft energy conduits, which we hooked up to a mining machine. And uh, now this mining machine gets more energy than ever. And it gets energy day and night, thanks to it not involving the sun anymore. Before we used to use solar panels, but now we have this lava generating machine that works day and night. And I can stand on it and that's pretty unrealistic in it. I would probably burn to death. By the way, in between episodes, I also added uh, three more magmatic generators here. So this thing is generating energy even faster. And uh, as you can see, it is. Look at this. One double chest, two double chests, three double chests, four double chests. That's not nothing there, okay. Uh, and almost five double chests worth of minerals. And... Uh, <laughs> Isn't that good? And uh, this sand siever as well. Uh, this sand siever also been doing work. Look at all this redstone. Look at all this sidestone dust. And uh, look at all this uh, grains of infinity. Uh, this gives me severe flashbacks. All of these machines have been doing work. And by the way, I've also added a flint stiffened mesh here as well. Along with the two diamond stiffened mesh. Just so that I could get stuff that you're unable to get with the diamonds. Such as, you know, lapis and coal. So, you know, this thing can now generate everything. So, yeah. Basically, this thing has been- Look at all this stuff! I'm swimming in all these minerals that, you know, normally should be mined, but, you know, that is awesome. So, uh, let's get all the emeralds, all the diamonds, all the, you know, I'm just gonna get emeralds and diamonds right now. And, uh, I'm gonna show you what I can do with this. First of all, it's time for bed. So, uh, from episode 2 all the way until now, I had like no armor and I've been constantly using stone tools, which is, you know, it's pretty inefficient. But now thanks to this mining machine that, you know, generates tons and tons of minerals and I am able to get like how many stacks of emeralds and diamonds. So um, that's pretty useful. So um, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna create some emerald tools. And uh, as you can see here, actually, an emerald sword does nine attack damage and an emerald axe 
does 11 attack damage. That is illegal, what the heck? And also, you know, all of these tools have like upwards of 2,000 durability. So, um, yeah, these are pretty useful, but, um, you know, diamond stuff only have like a, you know, 7 attack damage, uh, 9 attack damage. Ugh, that is bad compared to what is possible with emerald. So, um, I'm gonna create one of each tool. So, uh, an emerald sword, an emerald pickaxe, uh, an emerald shovel, and an emerald axe. I'm not done yet. You see this Emerald Paxel? This does 14 attack damage as opposed to 9 or 11 by the Emerald Axe. And this thing is also incredibly fast with 1.2 attack speed. So um, let's go ahead and create that real quick. And uh, here we have an Emerald Paxel. I don't even know what the word Paxel means. And of course we have our sword because the Paxel doesn't do like area damage. Just like the axe. That's actually pretty useful for our mob farm. So uh, yeah. Who needs stone tools? Let's just sort of chuck them away, yeah. And also, um, let's combine these two bows so that, you know, save a bit of inventory space. There we freaking go. Our emerald sword and our emerald paxel. This is the only time I've heard the word paxel. Just don't ask me. I can now use the emerald sword to, you know, slay all of our mobs that's been here. And, uh, this emerald paxel acts, acts as an axe a pickaxe and a shovel at the same time. So, um, this could break wood really fast and, you know, we could collect all our stuff. This also works as a pickaxe really well, as you can see, you know, all this cobblestone can be mined really quickly. And it works as a shovel really well, which I'm not gonna demonstrate because, you know, I don't have any stuff I could shove. But, you know, trust me, it, it also works pretty well, you know, dirt. So, yeah, all our tools combined into one and it saves inventory space. So, you know, of course our hammer also has to still be here, which actually I'm gonna upgrade right now. I don't think there's such thing as an emerald hammer. Yeah, no, nah, there's no such thing, so um, let's just create a diamond one. There we go. Goodbye, stone hammer. You will no longer be needed. And of course, let's create our full armor as well. So there we go. Our chest piece as well. So now we are fully protected. Oh yeah, and who could forget about the shield? Uh, I'm not actually that familiar with the shield, considering, you know, I I've always been like a 1.7 player, but... Here is our shield as well, which we can put on our left hand, which, you know, blocks all our enemy attacks if, you know, we ever need it. But this kind of blocks my vision, so um, I'm just gonna put it here. So when we need it, we'll use it. Look at this. I'm a freaking warrior. You don't want to mess with this guy, huh? Full emerald armor, emerald paxel, and a shield. You wouldn't want to mess with this guy, would you? You'll be running into a big mistake. 1v1 me, bro. You are running into a big mistake. But anyways, that aside, if you have noticed, while this base is, you know, nice and all, and, you know, I got all the stuff that's here, all the generation stuff, all the energy stuff, and the sugarcane farm as well, which I need to harvest right now. We need a haircut. Here you go. Have you ever realized that, you know, I'm missing something? You know, maybe a place to live? I mean, I've always been just sleeping here, which is, you know, a bed in a corner of the base, you know, not much here, so, you know... Don't you ever think I need a home to live in instead of, you know, constantly sleeping in the open world like a hobo? So uh, what I'm going to be doing this episode is um, just building a house, which, you know, is a perfect introductory as well. For you new guys, you probably won't understand all this modern terminology yet. So um, we're just going to, you know, do something simple today. We're just going to build a house just like you do in regular Minecraft. And by the way, it's getting dark. I'm going to just take a nap and uh, wait for the next day. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's the next morning now. Well, it's been 10 seconds for me. Let the construction of our new place to live begin. So um, I'm gonna create it right here because, you know, that's the only logical way to do so. It's kind of a shame because this is right next to our mob farm, which is, you know, sleeping next to a place where endless amounts of mobs get killed. You know, it's a bit of a problem, but when does that ever stop me? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some wood. I'm, sorry, I'm gonna grab all the wood. Uh, put away my emeralds because there's too many. And uh, let's begin. So I'm gonna just create a lot of wood planks and uh, a lot of wood slabs as well to, you know, mark the spot. They say X marks the spot. I'm not sure that's true or not. So here we go. So I'm gonna, just gonna create like a, probably like a, uh, how long is this? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so I'm probably gonna create like a... 20 by 15 platform. Damn it, I'm out of wood slabs. Uh, let me just create a crafting table real quick. I'm not gonna go all the way there. Nice. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm using the builder's wand, which uh, for you new guys is basically, if I click once, it'll place nine blocks just like this. It's freaking overpowered. I still think it's overpowered. And uh, there you go. This just placed down a lot of wood planks. Just like this, damn it, damn it. That was a mistake. No, luckily we got this Paxel here. Oh, now I get it. Pickaxe. Axe and shovel. Oh! <laughs> How have I not got that before? <laughs> wow, that was actually creative. Um, that fooled me. I thought it was an actual word. 
but you know, Paxel. <laughs> and I'm out of wood, so yeah, let's create some more. There we freaking go, and uh, let's just build this way as well, because you know, we need to fill in the entire platform, I mean, why would we not? And we're out of wood again! Wow, how much wood do I need? And there we freaking go. The platform has been filled in. And uh, now all there's left to do is, um, you know, the house itself. And uh, let's just carve this open so that, you know, this will be interconnected. Just like this. And build a one this up as well. So, you know. And here we go. So this is our new platform that, you know, uh, that's gonna house our house. No, that, that, was, that was a bad pun. Sorry. I still can't go again over this. Pickaxe, axe, and shovel. And it does 14 attack damage. <laughs> Oh, uh, freaking emerald pack silver. Nice. Whoever who created tiny progressions, uh, I salute you. Come over for dinner. We have so much to talk about, man. But anyways, now what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna create a house and uh, it's gonna go a bit back here, so here, and I'm gonna make it four blocks high. It's gonna be kind of similar to, you know, the house that I created in, uh, the first episode of Prototype 73. Not Prototype 73 Skyblock, Prototype 73. And the only episode of Prototype 73 as well. So I'm just, I'm just gonna start off like this and, uh, you know, work all the way up to here. And uh, I'm gonna create another pillar here. There we go. So this is our opening here. This is the front side of the house. So, you know, the door is gonna be here as well. So let's just create a door real quick. There we go. Uh, we got three doors. So, um, yeah, why not create a double Door. So this is the entrance to our house and uh, let's create a stone path. So I'm just creating a lot of paths uh, 40 should be enough. There we go. And that is gonna lead all the way to our front door. There we go It's got it's a bit diagonal right now because you know, I only have so much space uh, I'll probably expand this a bit over here because you know, I want this to be a perfect rectangle So, you know OCD purposes. So it's gonna be diagonal for now Let's just let's just create one more width and there we go So this path is now a uh, diagonal and it leads towards our, you know, our oak door. So there we go. And we're gonna continue building our house just like this. Uh, our grand entrance, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this looks not okay. This doesn't look symmetrical at all. There we freaking go. This is the front side of our house, and uh, it's getting dark. Of course, I'm gonna need torches as well. I don't want mobs to start spawning. So I don't even have any torches. Gee oh wait, I do. It's in my inventory. What the hell? Why, why can't I see it? Get my eyes tested. Jeez. Let's just like place torches like pretty much everywhere. There we go. It's just spam torches everywhere. We don't want mobs to start spawning. I don't know of a good alternative to torches right now, okay? Just don't. Feel free to leave it in the comments, but you know. Anyway, second day. Let's continue on with our house. But before that, actually, I'm gonna need a bit more wood, so um, I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I got about like uh, two more stacks of wood. Uh, so I'm gonna continue building my little house here, my little trademark house. Some pillars here as well, and a link for all the pillars to go on. And you know, wall this all up just like this. Uh, I'm gonna create another window here. Jesus Christ, why am I so inaccurate in placing these? There we go, all walled up and a couple of windows here as well. We want windows here, okay? We don't want this to look that bad. And anyway, so this is my new house. Uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot, I need to roof this all up. Just a couple of wood here and then, you know, use a builder's one to finish up the rest. And there we, oh crap, crap, that was not supposed to be wood. And there we go, all finished up. So this is our new place to live in, this looks... You can- this is indistinguishable from my other house! Like, what the heck? Well, now you know, all my, uh, creations are unoriginal. Well, at least I got this path here, so, you know, I'm- I won't be fooled by where I have to go. Of course, we have- we have the option to create glass now, so um, let's create some glass. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this, yeah. I need to break down some cobblestone first, just like this. Just melting them down, don't mind me. Okay, there we go, we got our glass, so, um, now we could just place them back into this house and, uh... Jeez, it's getting dark again, I need to sleep. Okay, so, um, yeah, unlike last time, I actually have glasses and, and um, uh, this doesn't look that good, does it? What does it take to create clear glass? Let me just say, uh, uh, damn, I need to melt down glass with a, with a Tinker's Construct Furnace. <laughs> I forgot what the name was, but yeah, yeah, nah, this is not gonna happen today. So I'm just gonna use, like, normal glass right now. I'll do, like, the clear glass later, so... Let's just place all our glass inside here, and uh, that was a mistake. And there we go. Put this, make this into a crafting station, and then put it here. And of course, our bed, which uh, we'll put right over here. And uh, you know what? White doesn't really look that good. Do I just like surround it with like lapis or something? Wait, no, you don't. Well, how do I create a blue bed? Gee, I don't even know Minecraft. Oh, wait, 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 just one lapis. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, now I've got a blue bed. Oh, that was easy. There we go. So I'm gonna place it right over here. And, uh, you know, 
New place to sleep, uh, better bed as well. It's not that bland, even though, you know, blue. And uh, yeah, a new addition to our Prototype 73 Skyblock series. Freaking hell, what are you doing, mate? Actually, this might be a perfect time to test out my Paxel. Boom. <laughs> Just one shot the that thing. Even though it was already injured. 14 attack damage! Who would not like that? But anyways, uh, I'm not gonna do too much this episode, considering it's my first episode on Mighty Evil 73. So, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Once again, of course, our house is really fugly. So, um, if you have any ideas on how to improve this, uh, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. But other than that, I uh, hope you guys have all enjoyed. Please like this video, uh, because in our last video, we aimed for 15 likes and we only got 8. What the heck? Come on, guys. Smash that like button. We can get 15 today. Yeah, that's not that in the high. Like, 12. Yeah, 12. 12 likes. Anything is better than 8. Not 8. So, yeah. Let's see if we can get to our 12 likes this episode. Uh, of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Very close to 500. And you know what will happen if I get to 500, wouldn't you? Have you ever read my descriptions? Yeah, but we're not really close to 500, are we? Of course, uh, this house right now looks fugly as crap. Uh, so, um... <laughs> If you have any ideas on how to improve, maybe add a second story, which I probably will do anyway. Or, you know, add some more decorations here, because this doesn't really look that good. I'm not a builder, okay? I'm a... I don't even know what I am, actually. Oh. But regardless, I'm not a builder, so... Yeah, this house... You know what? This house does all... They get all the work done, right? At least a shelter, and uh, always more room to expand, so... You know, this house is not that bad. So yeah, leave a comment on how I can improve this house because, you know, ugly. But anyways, that's all I have to say. So um, I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.